Welcome to our quick summary series. This is a quick fire summary video. For a longer, more detailed explanation, head over to reviseitright.com. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss our 10 minutes a day daily revision, uploaded every day. And if you do enjoy this video, please give it a like. Here is a picture of an animal cell that we've learnt about in past videos. It is a very generic animal cell. They don't all look like this. Most cells are specialised, which means they have become adapted for a particular function. Differentiation is the process where a cell changes to become a specialised cell. Look at this example here. We have an unspecialised cell becoming a sperm cell. Differentiation occurs as an organism develops. In animals, most cells lose their ability to differentiate at an early stage. Plants, however, do not lose this ability. In animals, differentiation is mostly used for repairing and replacing cells. You need to learn about different plant and animal specialised cells. We will start with animal cells. You need to know the function, i.e. what it does, and how it's adapted for this function. What makes it good at its job? Here we have a sperm cell. It is a specialised animal cell. Its function is to get the male DNA to the female DNA to fertilise the egg. It is adapted by having a long tail in order to swim, enzymes in the head to digest through the egg, and finally it has lots of mitochondria to provide lots of energy for its swim. Here is a nerve cell. His function is to carry electrical signals around the body to allow us to respond to our environment. It's adapted by being long to cover a long distance. It has dendrites to connect to other neurons. And it has myelin sheath to speed up transmission. Here we have muscle cells and muscle tissue. The function is to contract quickly for movement. It is adapted by being long which gives it space to contract and have lots of mitochondria to provide energy for its movement. Now let's learn about the specialised plant cells. The first is the root hair cell and it looks like this. Its function is to absorb water and mineral ions into the plant from the soil. It is adapted by having a large surface area, long hairs that stick out into the soil, This is a xylem cell. Its function is to transport water up the plant. It's adapted by containing no organelles, which makes it hollow so water can travel up and being shaped like long tubes. Here is a phloem cell. Its function is to transport sugar around the plant. It's adapted by again containing no organelles to make it hollow for sugar to move through it. It also has companion cells to provide energy for the movement of the sugar by active transport. You have now learned about the differentiation and specialised animal and plant cells. You will find a summary of this information below. Make sure you test yourself using the quiz on reviseitright.com. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss our 10 minutes a day daily revision uploaded every day. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. We are super excited here on reviseitright.com about the launch of our brand new website. I just wanted to quickly take you through some of the amazing features on our site. Here you can make a profile just like you can on other social media websites, but this one is all about revision, the very first of its kind. You can write in questions here, for example, so can someone help me with the function of bile? You can post it and one of our tutors or another member of the community will get back to you. 
we're really excited about the revision community we can make here. If you go to the learn part, here you can have access to text, videos, and quizzes from all the topics you will need in GCSE Science. You'll have access to all the summary videos that we have on YouTube, but also much longer videos that aren't available on YouTube that go into real detail on each topic. We will also have daily and weekly revision challenges for each biology, chemistry, and physics, new challenges each day. And this will link in with the leaderboard so you can compare how you're doing to how everyone else is doing. And really excitingly, you can also book extremely cheap group and private revision classes with one of our tutors. We'll be updating the website all the time. So head on over to reviseitright.com and sign up for a free account today.